हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड एन जी ऑन इन इट इन एंगुलर सो फर्स्टली डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज कंस्ट्रक्टर मैथड सो द कंस्ट्रक्टर इज अ डिफॉल्ट मैथड ऑफ अ क्लास दैट इज एग्जीक्यूटेड वेन द क्लास इज इनिशलाइज और क्रिएटेड कंस्ट्रक्टर इंश्योर्स प्रोपर इनिशलाइजेशन ऑफ फील्ड class members in the in the class and its sub classes and angular dependency and angular dependency injector analyze the constructor parameters and also when we call a constructed class with new instance of the class so firstly we need to same type of parameter pass in the uh, pass in the uh, calling uh, while calling a new classes so let's check here we have a constructor method so every component have a constructor method so in constructor method defines a dependency injection like here we define a services and router so uh, we can define it and import it in that top of the component like a router comes from angular router and the services comes from this way this is a npm package and also like we have a code service file and we have to write and get the api from the back end side so we also import in the here also using comma separated we can define a constructor and uh, we can initialize a construct uh, initialize a dependency injection in constructor method so let's now move to uh, ng on init ng on init is a angular life cycle hooks which is called when constructor is created when constructor is created and ng on changes firstly call after that ng on init function is called so how can we use it so like uh, if you have to use uh, ng on init so firstly need to implement ng on init function ng on init class and like uh, here we don't we import so it throw a error so you must we need to import from angular core services so that there, there is a main difference here we don't uh, in ng on init it returns a void type of data type it returns a void type and it does not contains any parent here we write anything it does not contains because and property ng on it is type main phase component is not assignable to the same property in the base type so it did it did not contain any any parameters but constructor contains a parameters as a dependency injection in angular or in java script also we can pass a value in same type of value we can pass it after that here we explore uh, like uh, constructor method calls first time before the ng on init and ng on init calls after the constructor and call after the first ng on changes so for, let's check what is the difference between them so we use constructor for all the initialization declaration it better to write a actual work in the constructor so in constructor method, uh, method we have uh, we cannot write actual workload work code like uh, if uh, we uh, if you want to write, uh, get a data from a api and uh, write that code in the constructor so you i think it's not good practices we have to write in that code in the here api call is here or any other codes are here but uh, but what you write in that section in constructor function constructor methods so like in api call we need to get a we need to get a uh, Say token date, token value, and token value is stored in a session storage or local storage. So firstly, we get that code in here constructor function because constructor function call previous to 
ng on in it so it's better to write get that session token from here get get session token here and initialized in one variable and use that token in the ng on in it function so it's not an actual code only little bit code you can write it but not large code and any any functionality implemented ng on in it so ng on in it uh, to show your uh, whatever show in HTML view, you can write, uh, you should write to in ng on init function. So, thanks for the watching.